What is up everyone, Alex here with another champion skin tier list, this time on Echo, the boy who shattered time. Whoa, whoa, arcane spoiler for season two, am I right? Anyway, Echo is a crazy cool champion in League of Legends who is mostly known for playing in the mid lane or in the jungle. He has this pretty specific play style he goes around. It basically revolves around just getting into the middle of the fight, doing as much damage as possible, and right before you think it might be over, you click your ultimate and boom, not only are you back to full health, you do an insane amount of damage and you probably just got a Penico. Okay, maybe not. That's the basic premise anyway. There's varying degrees of success here associated with that. Personally, I love seeing an enemy Echo get absolutely way too overconfident, run into the middle of the enemy team and get demolished completely before he has time to hit his R. You have to take time to enjoy the little things in life. Sticking with the general theme of the last few tier lists, I'm doing an Echo 1 to stick to the Arcane hype, and also he's getting a new Arcane related skin, so why not? I might actually cool it a little bit after this video with the whole Arcane only champions, but we'll see. Speaking of Arcane, Echo was also responsible for the best fight in the show so far. No, no, not, not that one. The actual best fight in Arcane. Yeah, there we go. This fight was insanely well done. And since Echo doesn't have time magic yet in the show, this was pretty neat foreshadowing for it. But as I mentioned, we're here to rank Echo's skins and set them up in a tier list. So let's get to it. In order of release, Echo's skins include his base look, Sandstorm, Academy, Project, SKTT1, Trick or Treat, True Damage, Pulse Fire, and Firelight being his newest skin as of me making this video. Also, full disclaimer, I want to bring up before we start getting into the tier list, Firelight isn't actually technically out yet, at least while I'm writing the script. So I just have pre-release footage to work with, and because of that, Riot could make any number of changes to it before it comes out. Alright, now that the weird disclaimers are out of the way, let's get started. So as usual, we're going to start with the champion's base look because that lets us get a good look at the champion's model, animations, emotes, and visual effects. Kind of see what we're working with before we move on to more complex skins. Echo's basic style in this skin is just kind of normal street clothes and then with a bunch of belts and buckles thrown on him. It's an anime character design thing. A lot of times with just free space on a character, they'll just toss these extra nonsensical things onto them. This makes them look a little more complex. The three most standout traits of his character design are in his bright white mohawk, his hourglass face paint, and in his weapon. Now, some people may use a sword, a machine gun, maybe an enchanted fiery teddy bear as a weapon, you know, some just real basic stuff. But Echo uses the hand of a giant clock, not only as a baseball bat, but combined with the device on his back, it's, well, a time machine. Can't make this stuff up, folks. So his basic look is that of a teenager who grew up in a rough city and then built a time machine with some scavenged tech. Just a normal Tuesday here in Zahn. Echo actually has a ton of already really cool effects on pretty much everything, including his auto attacks as well as his spells. They all have this clockwork-like appearance to them, and seeing the Echoes of Echo do things like toss out his stun or trail behind him showing where his ulti would put him are all just really cool character design things that fill you in on his personality as well as his powers from a lore perspective. Which, from the looks of where we left Echo at the end of Season 1, it seems like Heimerdinger might be responsible for helping Echo get his powers in the next season, but who really knows? As for emotes and animations, Echo has a fantastic recall that shows off his use of his rewinding abilities. His joke has him mess up with the time machine, and he turns himself into a child. Or at least a chibi-like version of himself. Kind of reminds me of that one scene in Avengers Endgame that gave us this gem of a meme. I, I see this as an absolute win. His taunt shows off some athletic ability. Also, his taunt quote here, I've seen your future, it has broken bones, is just some really raw stuff, and it it's a great quote, and I had to bring it up. His dance, last of all, has him just shredding out on his weapon as if it's an electric guitar, complete with spotlights and firework effects. Echo may be a genius in everything, but it's good he's not above acting like a dumb kid sometimes. This does a really good job of grounding him and making him more likable in my opinion. So I have this habit in these videos of showing off my nerdy side and bringing up inspirations for different champions and their skins, and with me being a huge Super Giant Games fan, I can't help but notice that his appearance as well as his weapon have some heavy resemblances to Bastion's main character as well as the weapon from Transistor. 
Now, I wasn't really sure where to put this in the script, but it's really important and I wanted to bring it up, so I'm just gonna, you know, place it in right here, just towards the end of this entry. The skin, although visually isn't my favorite base look of a champ, does a really good job of showing us who Echo is, and that's pretty important. As usual, the base look gets ranked at the top of C tier, and now we get to move on to the rest of the skins. Echo's release skin was his Sandstorm Echo skin, costing 975 RP, and it belongs to the Guardians of the Sand category of skins, although kind of only in an unofficial sense, weirdly enough. Fun fact about these particular skins, these are also Anakin Skywalker's least favorite category of skins. I'm probably going to continue to make Star Wars jokes, I'm sorry, it's just how I was raised. Okay, so immediately, I think the skin is actually impressive. From the Prince of Persia inspired clothing, the orange glow of his weapons, and his hair going from the, in my opinion, a little silly looking mohawk, to a tied back look that just makes him look a little more mature. Everything about the appearance of the skin is actually fantastic looking, especially for a release skin, and a 975 RP cost skin at that. So, what about the effects? Well, they actually do a surprising amount with them, changing the color as well as going for a more traditional runic look to his Q. Now, his W stun gives out a burst of sand when the stun part of the ability pops, which is pretty neat. And when he uses his ulti, it ends with a large spiral pattern. Now, his joke, taunt, and dance all remain the same in the skin, and his recall is, in my opinion, maybe a little worse than his base skins, with him just kind of playing around with his time winder before tossing it into the air as it glows. Although, it is a Prince of Persia reference, so it is kind of cool. Last thing to talk about with this skin is it gets chromas, the pearl and sandstone varieties being the standouts for me. Chromas are always nice, just to mix things up or fine-tune the colors a bit if you're not entirely in love with the colors of the normal skin. So, this skin looks great, has really well done effects, it's relatively cheap, changes up some stuff about his look, and is a reference to the Prince of Persia games. I was a PS2 era kid, can you, can you tell that? Is it obvious? I think the only place that this skin can reasonably go is the A tier. Man, right out the gate, we're already going with the A tier skins, huh? That's crazy. Hopefully we can, you know, keep this energy up. What's up next? Oh, it's Academy. Fantastic. Okay, who boy, here we go. All right, Academy Echo is the next skin we're gonna talk about, a 750 RP cost skin, and it's not a secret here that I really do not like this line of skins. And I feel like this is the exact opposite of a hot take because I've never met anyone who is like, yo bro, battle academia, whatever, am I right? How about another round of those Academy skins, am I right? That That's about as good as that voice is gonna get. These skins are bad and I dislike them. This one included, it goes in D tier. Fine, fine, fine. I'll do the dumb research and talk about it. This is my video, so I can do what I want, but whatever. Okay, so the skin is essentially a recolor of Echo, and although I like the darker colors a bit more, the clothes themselves are super lame. Not to mention he loses the cool time machine on his back for a backpack. Neat. He loses his sick mohawk as well and gets this abomination of a hairdo like what did they do to him looks like a soft serve cone from dairy queen like come on they did him dirty so riot's idea was to take this street smart city kid time wizard genius who built a time machine out of actual garbage and turn him into a preppy looking schoolboy. this skin further ignores echo's lore a bit too echo lives in zon and this city is often looked down on, but where other people see grime and a lack of innovation, Echo is very prideful of where he comes from and sees inspiration in the entire city. It kind of made him into who he is. Also, Academy doesn't have any new animations or emotes, and he loses the cool hourglass face paint. All right, I usually like to think I'm well-spoken, and I make some pretty good neutral points when it comes to the nearly 1,500 skins in this game, but this time, nah, it's dumb and I hate it. It goes in D tier. It's bad, it betrays Echo's entire character heavily, and brings nothing worthwhile to the table. I would use his base look over this one in literally every situation. God, I'm bummed out now. What's next? I need a break. Oh, it's Project Echo. Okay, dope, that's a little better. This is Echo's first 1350 RP cost skin that we're gonna talk about, and another entry into one of the most popular skin lines in the entire game, the Project line. 
Now, even though I love the Project Skins, I do think they're a little overhyped. They're great, don't get me wrong. Most of the time, they're awesome. Just a little overhyped and a little oversaturated. But let's look into this specific one. I need a palette cleanser after that last entry. I got a little upset. As far as model goes, it's great, with Echo getting decked out in a cool set of power armor. Silver, green, and black definitely just look like Echo's colors. His weapons get a serious upgrade, and it now looks like an actual weapon instead of, like, just a bar of neon light. He also gets a cool new visor. I don't really have anything more to say about it, but it looks cool, and I wanted to bring it up. So the Project Skins always have really impressive spell effects to them. They're always this hard light, Halo-style spell effects. No, no, the, the bad Halos, the ones after three. That, that kind of effect. And this skin changes all of his visual effects into this green-style version of these. These effects kind of look like if Echo had super advanced technology to create his time machine instead of garbage. I still like his Junker kind of tech a little more, but there's still something really sick about these. Plus, the effects just look and sound really, really good. It's hard to dislike the Project Skins. Hey, like I said, just because they're overhyped doesn't mean they're bad. Another really common thing these skins get is that they'll usually get a voice filter to make them sound cyborg-y. That's a word. I think this one's extra funny because Echo sounds like he has this kind of echo to his voice, and that's just, you know, punny. Do you get it? Like, funny, but I use the word pun instead of fun? Whatever, I don't have to impress you. His recall gets changed with the skin, and although I still like his base one a little more, this one still does some very fun, timey-wimey stuff. Off topic, this champion would have been perfect for a bunch of Doctor Who references if I, you know, knew anything about Doctor Who outside of memes. There goes a little bit of my nerd cred, probably. But again, like I said, I don't really have to impress you. His joke, taunt, and dance are all the same, and again, Echo's joke, while hilarious, still creeps me out. A lot. The skin aims to give Echo a futuristic looking appearance and it nails it from the look to the spell effects. I think I'm gonna set it in B tier because I think it's pretty good overall. However, there is a skin that we'll talk about further on that I think just does it all better and this one has trouble competing with it. Next up is Echo's SKTT1 skin, which is a championship skin celebrating SKT winning the season six championship. It's a legacy skin and will only be available to buy around the time the world championship comes around and costs 1350 RP. So generally these skins are middle of the road for me. I feel like a lot of the time they're not exactly the highest effort skins, but this one actually has a lot of cool stuff to it. Firstly, red, gold, and orange are actually really great colors on Echo. His bat takes on the look of a short sword and his hair invokes this Roman soldier imagery to it. And because I'm a huge history nerd and the US is basically the modern Roman Empire, I kind of dig it. One sec, the, the Roman Empire was okay in the end. Let, let me look this up real quick. Oh. Now in doing research for this video, people are kind of mixed on the look of this skin with the funniest comment I saw saying that he looked like Wukong, which I sort of can't unsee now, but I don't know. It doesn't really bother me too much. For 1350 RP, Echo gets a ton of new spell effects and they get this new gold and red look to them. His stun has the SKT logo in it before the stun goes off. This also happens when he uses his ulti and as he flies back, boom, SKT logo front and center. Speaking of his ulti, my favorite thing personally about this skin is Echo's little after image thing that follows him actually has the SKT, another T, and then a one floating above it, which is just a nice little bit of polish. As for Echo's emotes, he keeps the same dance, taunt, joke, and laugh, but he does get a new recall. With him high-fiving some clones and doing that whole all-in cheer thing with SKT's Duke signature being highlighted during the recall. One thing I always like with these championship skins is that the player the skin is celebrating usually gets some input on what the recall should look like, and this one is no different. Now, that brings us to where to put this skin. I like it a lot, honestly, and I think some of its flaws aren't nearly as bad as people think they are. But this might be one of those skins that's pretty subjective from person to person. The main flaw I have with it is its status of being a legacy skin, making it kind of a pain to get. But outside of that, I think it's pretty solid. I'm gonna set it at the top of B tier for now, ahead of his project skin. Next up, we have Trick or Treat Echo. Check that out, two legacy skins back to back that both cost 1350 RP. What are the odds? Well, honestly, pretty good actually, but still. So Trick or Treat obviously means the skin falls into the category of Halloween skins. And so the only chance to pick this up is gonna be around Halloween or getting it as a random drop from an orb or a chest. 
This skin is pretty goofy looking overall, I mean just look at that neon green mohawk, but that's not necessarily a bad thing if we're being honest. Echo's time machine on his back is a jack-o'-lantern chock full of candy, his bat is, well, just an actual bat this time. He wears a skull mask and his clothes have a neon green skeleton to it. Now why is someone who uses time magic dressing up as a skeleton? Well, I have no idea, and also Echo seems way too old to be trick or treating anyway, and why am I nitpicking a skin that was obviously made in a lighthearted way? I should probably stop this before no one talks to me ever again. So I'm not crazy about the colors of the skin personally, but guess what? Chromas for the skin will fix that right up with the rose quartz and the obsidian ones being my own personal favorites. Next up we're talking about the effects and you can be damned sure this skin brings it. His Q looks like a broken jack-o'-lantern and has ghosts and bats coming off of it. Speaking of those ghosts and bats, all of his spells have at least one of those with his stun having both and the addition of a skull logo similar to the mask on his face. His E skill lets him dash to his opponents and smack them with his bat and god I hope it was intentional because after he does a bunch of bats fly out and you know I love my puns here. His after image for his ulti is now purple with a full moon and bats flying above it. Not as cool to me as the SKTT1 one, but still pretty cool overall. Not to mention this skin is pretty phenomenal in literally every category I can arbitrarily think of. Last but not least, we're talking about changes to his emotes and although he doesn't get a new joke, dance, laugh, or taunt, whoa, de deja vu, I feel like I just said that a little bit ago. He does get a new recall and it's probably my favorite one so far with Echo trick or treating and well it has to be a reference to one of my favorite fantasy enemies of all time, the Mimic. Okay so maybe Echo didn't follow the whole only take one piece of candy rule, but the Mimic coming to life, attacking Echo and scaring the hell out of him, it's just, it's so funny how fast Echo scrambles back fearing for his life. It's just really, really funny to me. Like I've never seen this skin before, so doing the research this was the first time I ever saw the recall and it legitimately made me laugh out loud and that is worth some serious points in my book. So honestly this skin goes to the top of A tier at the moment, it's that good. It's not my S tier pick, but the skin is really, really good. Now as for what's gonna get my S tier pick, I don't think anyone's gonna be surprised when we get to it. Well. Look at that timing, because now we're going to talk about true damage Echo. Echo's legendary skin costs 1850 RP, and yeah, it's going to be the S tier pick, surprising exactly zero people, I would think. It's so good that I think we can just move on to the next entry, right? Alright, alright, I think I've done that bit already, so let's talk about it. Everything about Echo's appearance in the skin just drips with style. The jacket, his weapon, the sneakers, even the hair ditches the silly mohawk for a cooler hairstyle, which in my opinion should be what Echo normally does with his hair. Even the face paint he dons looks cooler, and he just has this added charisma to him in this skin that just really comes across. I wonder why that is. Oh, it's because he gets voiced by Thutmose instead of the normal voice actor, and no hate on Echo's normal voice actor because it works for his other skins as a smart ass kid but he definitely needed something different for this skin and Thutmose definitely brings it. This skin is so powerful in fact that it literally changes the music in the game and although subjective I personally think it slaps, which that just dated my video for whenever that word stops being cool. In fact it's probably already not cool anymore. All his spell effects have this cool overlay to them, they remind me of a soundboard and a lot of the effects just pop and they have this impact that just seems really comic booky and intense. I literally can't see this skin and not think of the art style from the Spider-Verse movie. I even love how when his stun is winding up you get a loading icon and then when it activates it changes to the pause icon and when he ultis you get a huge cool burst of new particle effects It's just serotonin inducing. An underrated part of the skin that I really enjoy and it's gonna sound weird but it's how Echo moves during just anything. His walk animation he just like moonwalks all over the place and he glides along the floor and he just he looks so cool guys, come on. The overall look of the skin is great and you can always change the colors with chromas. Personally I would just stick to the base colors of the skin because the purple and yellow look awesome. To be fair the freestyle version is also pretty cool but it's one of those near impossible to get chromas from an event which is kind of bullshit but whatever. Riot as we know hates making money. The skin even has a unique death and respawn animations which you definitely don't see every day. It even has a home guard animation. It's not fancy, but he has one. Because this is a legendary skin he gets all new emotes with his joke doing a cool rhyme thing before it gets done again in reverse. His taunt is a reference to Super Hot Fire's over the top reaction to his 
le less than devastating burns, but we've all seen it before. I've even used it in past videos. So Echo using his after images to act as the crowd is just really funny and it makes the skin a lot better to me. He gets a new dance with this skin too. I miss the guitar thing, but this one has its charms. And lastly, of course, he gets a new recall with this skin with him creating these holographic stairs and going up and down three different sets before getting back to base. Wow, this entry took a while, huh? Well, makes sense because the skin has so much going on for it. I honestly think if I looked at all, what, 14, 1500 skins in this entire game, I bet this one gets into the top 1% for me personally. So of course, it's gonna be our S tier pick for today, which yeah, I already spoiled a few minutes ago, but if I made any other pick the S tier pick, I'm pretty sure I would have lost all credibility and have been completely booed off the stage. Well, it's not a stage, it's a YouTube video, but still. Yeah, the skin's fantastic, but you knew that already. Don't lie, you just clicked on this video to make sure I gave this skin the hype it deserves. The next skin we're gonna talk about is his Pulse Fire skin, yet another 1350 RP cost one. And this skin feels pretty inevitable for Echo as this entire skin line can essentially be boiled down to Cops and Robbers Time Travel Edition. Echo, in this continuity, is someone who built his own time machine out of scraps and now spends his time breaking the timeline. Having just watched the Loki series, I get some serious time variant vibes from this story. So I know it says he built this stuff out of scraps, but this basically just seems like Echo got a series hardware upgrade. Everything is all white with blue lights, and if that doesn't say space age level tech, I don't really know what else would. The only thing about the model change that I don't really like is this weird cone-shaped mask on his face. I also would have liked a skin that would give him a blue mohawk since we haven't really gotten one of those yet. To be fair though, this skin has a bunch of chromas with Citrine and Chrono being the best ones overall. The Citrine one actually does give him a blue mohawk. So I guess I can no longer complain about that, huh? The Chrono one gives him dark colored armor and a vivid red mohawk. It looks incredible. Too bad that once again, this chroma is locked behind an event and is now officially a pain in the ass to get. All of his effects get changed to these holographic, futuristic spell effects with an incredibly impressive sci-fi sound design to them. Now, if you remember, I mentioned earlier that I put the project skin in B tier because I thought a skin further down the line basically just does it better. Well, it is this skin. I think the new particles are just done way better with the skin, but I also know that this might come down to a coin flip for some people. Now, it's easy to spread things out among the different tiers, but I honestly think most of Echo's skins have a very high quality to them. If you closed your eyes and picked one at random, you're probably gonna land on a winner. Except Academy. Fuck the Academy skin. All my homies hate the Academy skins. There's nothing specific I want to point out about his spell effects other than his ulti's afterimage having what looks like an EKG above its head. Other than that, all the spell effects just look solid, and there's nothing to complain about here. We don't see any changes to his emotes, but he does get a new recall, and Pulsefire skins usually have a running theme of running through a time portal, and this one does that too, but not before he charges up his weapon, destroying two holographic training dummies before making the jump backwards through a portal. Kind of reminds me of something. Boom! So... Where are we gonna put this skin on the tier list? Well, I think this earns an A tier placement and I'm gonna set it between Sandstorm and Trick or Treat. All right, so our last entry is going to be the Firelight Echo skin, a 1350 RP cost skin that gets added to the Arcane skin theme because this is how Echo looks in the Arcane show. Go figure. So I do wanna reiterate that kind of strange disclaimer I gave in the intro when it comes to the skin because it's not out yet. I guess the story behind this is it got revealed and then the Echo mains had a rather public outcry of being kind of disappointed with it. So although announced, it got shelved for a few patches while they work on adding more to it. I'm not entirely sure when it's going to come out, but it definitely put me in a weird situation. I could ignore it and then have my video immediately be outdated since I started this script a while ago when it got announced thinking it'd be out by now, or I can talk about it, rank it, and then when it actually comes out, the placement is either going to seem too high or too low. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use pre-release footage for now, base my placement off of that, and then also listen to a Reddit post, a writer posted about this skin, about them adding a home guard animation, as well as some sound effects to the skin, and we'll go from there. If you're curious about it, I'm also going to add the Reddit post in question into the description below if you want to take a peek for yourself. 
Now, it probably will end up being a pretty high placement because Echo in the show looks really cool to me. He wields a pipe, wears a cool trench coat, and of course the cooler dread-like hairstyle over the mohawk, which I prefer anyway. Spell effects here have this really cool Hextech spray paint inspired orange and green look to them that looks great. My only negative note here is that I would have loved to see the more, you know, it's called Firelight Echo, right? I would have loved to see more of those fire lights to them. You know, the little firefly things that this skin is kind of named after. Having those cute things fly around while he uses his spells would have been a really cool touch. I like the hourglass logo his spells get. I like how it looks freshly spray painted and it's present in his stun and his ulti's after image. Two kind of specific things I hope to see when the skin does finally come out is in a home guard animation where he rides around on his hoverboard, which Riot has said they're working on that, which is great because not too many 1350 RP cost skins have home guard animations. And then another thing I'd hope to see is a toggle for his mask. So for certain skins, you can hit control five, I think is what it is, to toggle things on a champion's model. Usually this has to do with helmets and such. Kaisa has a few of these. Well, I really want that with this skin and his cool firelight mask. I don't think we're gonna get this as much as the Echo mains are clamoring for it, and believe me, so am I. I'm not even an Echo main and I want it. I just know that I, myself, am not a programmer, and I don't know how much of a bitch that would be to implement. So I don't know guys, I hope we get it, but I won't be really surprised if we don't. Just kind of temper your expectations, I guess. For now, I guess I'll just have to enjoy the really cool recall with him capturing what looks like one of the Hextech gems and shredding on his hoverboard while wearing his mask. It is also a little strange seeing Echo using his powers with the skin when in the continuity of Arcane, he has yet to discover his powers, but maybe at the beginning of season two of Arcane, he'll get his powers, or maybe he'll already have had his powers, who can say really? Okay, so the hard part, where to place this skin? So tentatively, I'm gonna set it at the bottom of A tier because the skin isn't out yet and we don't really know all the bells and whistles that it's gonna receive. Now, they could really drop the ball on it and it would end up in B tier or they could deliver a kick-ass skin and it might end up being my second favorite and be at the top of A tier. But for now specifically, I feel pretty good setting it here and coming back to this eventually when the skin comes out. Like I said, I just would have felt really awkward not making an entry for the skin at this time. So yeah, here's the final look at the tier list. I'm pretty happy with this. And although I know for a fact some people are going to disagree with me, that is perfectly reasonable. I am always up for discussions in the comments. Even if I don't respond, I have read every single comment I've ever gotten on this channel and there's like thousands at this point. I'm trying to get into a rhythm and a schedule for uploading videos. It's one of many resolutions I've made for myself this year and it's hard because life keeps doing that thing you know, where it gets in the way all the time. So if I could be so bold in asking, could you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe if you wanna see more of my tier list or if you just like the sound of my voice. And hey, if you have an Echo main in your life, send this video to them, see what they think about it and let them tell you how wrong I am. It's okay, I can take it. I'll only cry a little bit. As usual, I love comments. They're my favorite part about making these videos because they usually make me aware of stuff I wasn't aware of before. Learning's fun. I'm still figuring out the structure of the videos and because I have a weird perfectionism thing, odds are I'll never be done changing things about these videos. But as usual, I'm listening to what people are saying. So I've been Alex. Thanks for letting me shout my opinions at you through whatever screen you're watching this on and I will see you all in the next one.